Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are watching Legacies. This episode 19 of Season 4. Hopefully, guys have been enjoying the series so far. It is also the last chance to get your most likely to dislike characters' votes in for your results of mine to be revealed in the next episode. The finale, the last ever episode. That is right. This is the final ever episode of Legacies. Not just this season. Finito, done and dusted, see you later alligator, so it's going to be interesting, you know, it's just been thrown upon us like that, the show got cancelled, you know, with a bunch of other stuff on the network, it's not that it was underperforming, but it's crazy, you know, it's through a spanner in the works and I'm interested to see how we end it, but you know what, what a sad day, you know, it's kind of the end of the Vampire Diaries franchise, I don't know how they're going to spin off from there, but 171 episodes of the Vampire Diaries, 92 episodes of the originals, and what we're on now, 62 episodes or something of Legacies, what a crazy wild ride it's been on, and hopefully we can knock it out of the park with today's and next week's episode and send the show off on you know the pedestal that it deserves really because you know many people come into this show uh not really liking it because it's a different vibe from the others but you know if you stuck around as long as we have you know like it's been a great show and the season post up was hope must die and in my personal opinion season four has possibly been the best season as well so out of all of the seasons and the one that's getting cancelled as well this has been an epic one last episode as well and you know caleb dying Oh, well, it looks like he's dead. Anyway, Ken, you know, he managed to make it look like um, Cleo was in trouble. He's come into, like, the head dive, astral projection, but Ken's strong enough to affect the real world, mate, and he's grabbed Caleb, and pretty much he said to Cleo, there's an option now, mate. You come and hand over hope to us, or Caleb's going to die. And she didn't hand over. She told Caleb she loved him, and boom, mate, he got staked, and we've seen his face transitioning. What a crazy episode. We also found out that somebody has got to lure you know, Ken into the field, into like the location where they're going to have to set off this bomb or whatever it is, the trap. But they said that whoever sets it off, even a vampire is not going to make it out in time. It's going to hit them as well. Now, obviously, Alaric was volunteering himself to do it. But Hope ran the simulation again and again and again, trying to figure out who it needs to be. And they settled that it has to be. Lizzie, crazy mate, you know, she's just become a heretic and now that is going to be the reason why she has to be into this situation. They determined that if she manages to get Ken in there and siphon some of his powers away, weakening him, she can set off this explosion, this blast and hopefully get away or as far away as she can while he's obviously at the weakness that he could possibly be and boom mate they can hopefully take him out so it's gonna be really interesting where they go from there we also um you know had landon he's now the ferryman he's on he's in limbo he's transitioned mate you know instead of being kind of like a prisoner he's kind of like the guy who sends everybody to peace now the ferryman turns out to be a god she said that she was sent there from ken because in the past, she kind of wanted to help people. Ken wasn't happy about that, so he sent her there as punishment. And she's been there for thousands of years. And she's never found anybody that could fully take a place uh, until she met Landon. He was willing to give up his opportunity at peace to help others. And she's said that he's the perfect candidate. And he accepted it. And he's offered the necromancer, turning back into Ted, his chance to go to peace. So... Very exciting. Can't wait for the final two episodes. Hopefully, you guys are excited too. If you guys are, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you do. And as always, let's jump into the second to last ever episode of Legacies. How much longer? Dude, I am smithing something that has never existed before. <laughs> your skills are needed, daughter, but they don't require your tongue. God magic plus red oak ash equals a lethal combo for the tribrid. If you were lying to me, again, you pray to some other god. I wouldn't bother. Oh, Hulk's going right to him. I told Cleo that only one person had to die. I've come to accept your terms. Self-sacrifice. I have come to challenge you according to the old ways. Shall we say two hours from now? No, they must have a plan. <laughs> See you on the battlefield. Rick looks mad now he shaved his beard. Took the bait. You know, hopefully, like I said, these last two episodes are fucking sick. We're holding a vigil for Caleb. You might want to go. Letting candles and sharing stories will not help him. Because while the squad is fighting Ken, I'll make sure that no other god can do something like this again. I'm about to duel a god. Pick me a winner. Not that one, I should think. <laughs> in my experience, the worst plans can overcome the best, so long as those fighting believe in it. When steel meets steel and blood is shed, when the fire and fog of war is swimming all around you, 
Trust your instincts. He still got a weapon with the red oak doll that can take her down. You know what, right? I tried my hardest not to read any of the names in the credits then. Yeah, so hard, you know, because when somebody comes in, you know, like when it was like the Rebecca episode or something, um, and didn't obviously pay, like, I tried not to pay attention anyway, but then when I went back and done the editing, it like, pops up guest starring, and I'm like, oh, mate, it would have killed my my excitement when, when obviously, like, I seen that. So I don't want to look at the bottom there and see if it's saying guest starring any of, like, the nostalgia old characters, because obviously it ruined the fun. So, like, you'll see me, like, looking away, and obviously the final episode, I'm not going to be looking down there at all until we get into the middle of the episodes. Finally, siphon dummy Ken and triggered the explosion. <laughs> And on the not so bright side, I blew up dummy me in the process. You just have to put up a shield spell in time. Ken is the only one dying today. She'll siphon him and trigger the explosion. If he survives, then Jed and Ben and finish him off. We're ready, Hope. Ready as we'll ever be. Ah, oh, me. I feel like it's going to be a good one. If things go sideways, forget about me. Look out for them. Oh, imagine okay. if Jed sacrificed himself. Okay. Oh, it's Aurora. Hello, little bird. Mate, do you know what, right? Did anybody know that Ken and Aurora are married in real life? That's crazy. You know, I seen it, obviously, when I seen the story that it said CW cancelled 12 shows, I was reading through it, and then I seen a story associated with that saying them two, you know, working together on this show and the chemistry, and I was like, what, mate? That is well interesting. And have you noticed that a lot, a lot, a lot of the Vampire Diary universe cast is Australian. Do you know what I mean? You've got Elijah, Rebecca, um, oh, Hayley. Then you've obviously got Aurora and Ken. It's like, bad mate. Looks like you've switched sides again. Lizzie was so sure you changed. He sent me in his place. When he clearly has no honor. Darling, that's adorable coming from the girl who planned to cheat. What did you do to them? It's oh, nothing, right? they're getting attacked. You can control curses. He must have cured all of your stuff. <laughs> we gotta get off the menu, MG. If any vampire is bitten, it can cause a chain reaction, send you all to a feeding frenzy. We lure the wolves into the tunnels beneath the school. Lizzie traps them with a barrier spell. Get in the tunnels, I'll hold them off. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, yeah, he looks good. Oh, that wolf look, looked well good. Something, uh, something personal. Something from your past you need to let go to move on. Mm. Works for me. Hope that boat always makes other stops. Ooh. So I gotta get back to the school and back to life. Pronto. Hey, we found out last episode that there was repercussions for sending people, dead people, back into the present world. She said it, didn't she? The pheromone when she passed it over to him. Cleo? My dad's having trust issues again. <laughs> oh, you're not here to save me. You're here to kill my family. I'll save you if you want, though. Oh, rookie mistake. Bring a spirit of a magic fight. I want to kind of slice hope a little bit and see if it impacts her in any way. There we go. That sensation you're feeling is red oak. What we're saying, right? Do you reckon that if you was hope in that position, do you think that that would spur you on, give you more determination to win, or do you reckon it would impact you and like reduce your confidence because you know there's a chance you can die? Do you know what I mean? It's really interesting. Oh, yeah, he went away, didn't he? Whatever it is, Ethan, it's not your problem anymore. Friends are in trouble. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Just that little bit is impacting her so much. It's coming. I have been under your father's sway for centuries, desperate for even the smallest expression of love, only to be reminded time and time again of his cruelty. His line ends with you. Whoa, look at that kick. You old timey people call a ruse. She was faking it, mate. She had me. Oh, you've absolutely been done over. That was good, Hope. Your wounds are healing. It was my father also altered my curse. Let's get you back before, before I see who you've killed. Fuck off, mate. It had to be G. <laughs> he's killed. Whoa. Maybe he's on the other side as well. In limbo with Caleb. I wanted to hurt your father as he hurts me. My old man brings out the worst in everyone around him. I mean, what's the point of being a fury? If he leads me down a path, I can't go. For Malivore, the Furies were the only thing my dad feared. Furies have a special connection to the minds of all gods. So, be it mine. MG, the werewolves are in the tunnels. All the exits are sealed except this one. Are you okay? What happened? No, he's... Oh, another way out. He's injured. Yeah, he's, he's, he's injured, mate. 
Hold on. I'll siphon out the venom. <laughs> Too many of them. There's no time. Just once I was supposed to be protecting me. You have to go kick that god's ass. Because <laughs> you're awesome. He is awesome, mate. Look, oh, cast is dropping, mate. Caleb, Jed, and MG all in one. Well, two episodes. Do you know what, right, though? Oh, maybe Aurora as well. I'm going to say that at least they're going to the side where they're together. Do you know what I mean? At least they're going in limbo where Landon's there, when Caleb's there. Obviously, hopefully, Jed's there. And MG, if you're going to be dead, you ought to be dead with your mates, don't you? Let's be honest. So, and I don't know. Landon is in charge of it, so why not, mate? Mess it, mess, mess the rules up. The rules are there to be broken, isn't it? Bring them all back, you know. If Ken thinks they're all gone, yeah, Ken made the rules that you know he can't come back and kind of help people. That's why his family member was sent over there. Well, you know what? Rules are there to be broken. Landon's in charge now. I'm the captain. Send them all back. Unexpected surprise. Boom, 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 boom. Take him out, mate. The cycle of revenge always leads to more violence. Oh, oh. There was a side to my father that you never saw. One that was decent, kind, and loving. He didn't want pain and suffering to be all that he left behind. I would have ran off though with that big fucking spear, I tell you. Having more doubts, my dear. No. I think she might kind of help her, but I hope she'll just kill the man. She's been through so much, Aurora. The weapon is effective, my lord. He sent you into battle. Without knowing if that thing even worked, you could have been killed. You wasted your chance when you chose mercy. You were worth trying to reap, even if your brother or my father or this asshat can't see it. Um, yeah, man. The last person who had this job told me that breaking the rules of limbo has a price. If it means you losing your soul, I can't, I won't ask you to do that for me. I'm saying we only get one shot at this. I'm asking you to make it count. Do it, but with everyone going back. We need to get back to life, I'd imagine. Okay, so we must be getting our asses kicked if both of you are dead. Mm -hmm. You're delaying the inevitable. Could have been worshipped as a god. But you chose to bind your fate to lesser creatures. Oh. You were right about me. I loved your father. I wanted him to change for me. That I wasn't enough. You were. And I saw in you everything that I couldn't have. I'm sorry. For what was done to you. We're all complicated, aren't we? I did too little too late. You can do more. Finish this. She's fading. Look, she's off. Off skis, mate. So how's Holt stopping this curse from going through, man? It looks like it's proper affecting her. Enough of these games, driver! Come and face me! Rick, man! Last time you tried to steal my power, you could barely contain it. Get my dad out of here! Get him help! Ethan, you gotta get out of here! I can't hold this god magic for much longer. I made a promise and I'm gonna keep it. Oh, he's dead. Rescue guy. Oh, imagine if he's just stood there, chilling. Hit by the blast. Yeah, he's not, he's not dead. Oh, he's burnt, no. He's still alive. You're in no shape to fight a guard right now. I have to end this. Siphoned it away. There we go. Lita, you are OP, mate. Literally, so overpowered. I underestimated you. Even in my weakened state, you can't kill me by yourself. No, because she's, she's standing. Yeah, and Soul's MG. Look at the crew, mate. How is this possible? That's a long story. Yep, I'll tell you all about it. After we kick this guy's ass. He's bouncing. If he's smart, he would leave. Oh, God, mate. Your move, Ken. I would be bouncing. If I was him, I'm off skis. This changes nothing, Triber, other than the number of bodies that will need to be buried. Burn him again. Yes, listen. Cleo might be able to though. She can go right into your mind. What? It is judgment. And what do you find me guilty of? You a dick? Takes god magic to kill a god. Right? Oops, is naughty me. He sabotaged it as well. 
I'm surprised Ethan didn't come back. He did he die too too late? Wounded. High five, super squad. <laughs> I'm hitting that bong rate. You made it. Thanks to you. I'm really sorry about it, Jeff. He's back. Don't be. <laughs> Because I'm the one who owes you an apology for trying to kill your daughter and MG. I hadn't gotten shot in the chest with my own arrow. I'd get up. <laughs> what a handsome couple, man. No one who dies, I'm assuming there was a prince. Yeah. But the curse could be lifted, though, because he's dead. And in the most landing move ever, he paid it for us. Couldn't stand the thought of you being alone. At the end of the day, it was you who made the ultimate hero move. I don't know how I'm going to go on. Honor him. may never know. Who rescue guy was, but I will never forget you. She finally admitted that she loved my father, and she deserves the honor, especially after the sacrifice she made. Aurora was a badass bitch. <laughs> That's true, man. And I really hope that she finds peace. Incendia. Guy fishing tomorrow is gonna find that and be absolutely scared out of his mind. I forget to send you to peace. I just got a little sidetracked. Oh boy. I'm dead. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, dead, but at least you're there. Oh, what a good episode, people. What a good episode. Really enjoyed it. Like, you know, what more can you ask for? Pretty much, you know, we had high action, twists and turns. Looked like Hope was on her last legs. Then she was back up. You know, she was she was acting. Aurora's died. MG's died. Ethan's died. You know, Jed's died. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Ken's died. So, I mean, it's been a crazy episode. So many deaths. I didn't know what was going to happen, actually. You know, once he got to the other side, Caleb, and he was um, and he was speaking to Landon, and he was like, look, mate, I've got one shot. Well, I knew it. I knew that it was going to send the masses back. Do you know what I mean? I knew that it wasn't going to be just send him. It was going to be a couple of them are going, and then they're all going to go back, and they're all going to strike. Now, what I do find, actually, really, really interesting is... I wonder if this was meant to be the season finale and they've just tweaked it a tiny bit uh, because what's the last episode going to be? Do you reckon it's just going to be a full on emotional nostalgia, you know, like smiley, happy, bit of flashbacks here and there, cast members coming in old and new, do you know what I mean? And, and just joyous, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you go out, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie, the Vampire Diaries, amazing ending. The the originals, sad ending, amazing as well. I was crying on that one. And now we've got Legacies here. Hopefully, they're going to do it justice. I feel like they're going to do it well. You know, they've not had one crap ending of a show yet. And I feel like they're going to do it really, really good. Because Ken looks like he's dead. You know what I mean? Like, we had the battle. Looked like Hope was about to die. Looked like Ken was on top. Lizzie's come in, siphoned him. You know, uh, Jen as well. It seems like Jen, when she forged that weapon, yeah, even though it could take Hope out, she's done something that could take him out as well. And obviously, with the power of the squad and the help of everybody, Hope's managed to get a weakened chem from a siphon lizard. She's pinged him across, obviously, the field. She stood there with a spear. Boom, mate. Taken out. And uh, Cleo's had to save the day as well, you know? Spear thrown at uh, Hope. Cleo throws it. She's come in. She's grabbed it. And it's a big, massive team effort, you know? You've seen that with the absolute devastation of Ethan's death. But he knew what he's getting himself into. It's been a consistent theme all season. You help, you're pretty much gonna die. You help, you're pretty much gonna die. And do you know what? He had a chance to flee last episode and he did. And he sat at his house and he knew the you know, he knew by going here and trying to help it that there's only gonna be one outcome. And it was death, and that's what happened. But he's probably gonna be happy knowing that his sacrifice actually did work and that he actually made a good decision that helped the team. And uh, it's interesting. You know, we did mention that uh, obviously like when Landon does send them back, he obviously, uh, it kind of like curses him and it obviously kind of like deteriorates his kind of like empathy and his emotions and pretty much he'll go from being Landon, I'm expecting to be in like the skeleton ferryman that we've seen uh, for, well, since the show's been on. But what's interesting is, now all the magic and all the curses and everything that Ken's cast has disappeared, I wonder if Landon is actually okay. I wonder if like he's not going to be affected by that curse. And if he is, how long does it take? How do we know? Um, who knows? But all I've got to say is really good episode. Really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was a good way. It was a good fight. Yes, obviously Ken lost and he's a god and you can say, oh, God's lost. But you know what? That's what we expect anyway. You know, it's a show that we love. The character, we're, not, we're not wanting the big 
the big god to come in and kill everybody that we love. I expected a few to die, which they did, and it was a good twist that Landon brought them back, and it makes total sense in the context of the show and how it's been done before. No dramas about that. You know, I was shocked that Jed got shot off Alaric, and then it makes sense why he shot him to save everybody else. And, uh, you know, they come back and they've done it, mate. Teamwork is the dream work. We were told it was casual, is we got them, and then we got, obviously, the teamwork, and we got the outcome that we wanted. So, great stuff. I loved it. Really, really good episode. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, guys enjoyed it. This is episode 19 of obviously season four. This is the last chance to get your most likes and dislike characters votes in of this season. It might have changed after today's sequence, you know, the battle. People put themselves on the line, didn't they? No messing about, you know. MG sacrificed himself to save everybody. Um, obviously, Jed died trying to save everybody as well. But he did transition into a wolf when he was trying to kill somebody at the time, obviously, of his death. Uh, we had, obviously... Um, Aurora, she was killed as well. She sacrificed herself for hope. She got stabbed off Ken. Uh, very, very interestingly, you know, Caleb was dead from last episode. Got Ken defeated here as well. We've got Rick injured. We've got, um, you know, it looked like, um, what's his name now? Um, ben, he could have been injured as well. You know, he's, he's, his powers wasn't, he wasn't healing, was it? You know, he said his dad's come. He's affected all the magic that's around and he, he, all the curses. Uh, he transitioned, obviously, all the wolves into their actual physical form. Now, we didn't really see anything of Finch, you know. She was kind of having a conversation with Jed earlier on in the episode. And Jed was like, if anything happens to me, like, you're kind of in charge of the pack. And that kind of gave me the hint that Jed might actually die. I thought that like, he might actually come in and um, kind of get in the way of, like, a confrontation between Ben and his dad. Kind of like Aurora did between, obviously, Hope and Ken. But no, it was uh, obviously just a transition. And obviously, they lose control. And it was Alaric that actually took him out. But all is good in the Super supernatural world and in mystic falls and in the salvatore school because they've got the main man landon on the other side the ferryman and he's been reunited with his friends he's actually sacrificed possibly his own obviously soul or whatever you'd want to call it for everybody in mystic falls and he sent everybody back perfect timing as well mate you know when it looked like all the you know all hope was lost mind the punch you know what i mean it looked like hope was about to die uh we had them their team come up squad up you know i'm not alone i've got lizzie i've got mg i've got you caleb you know we've got jed and then who else has come to save the day that's right cleo after having some help from jen really really good you know jen was chained up again uh from her father she um she found obviously cleo possibly about to kill all of her family and obviously she stopped and she was like you know what you know i was thinking so much about getting revenge on ken and uh you know i wanted him to suffer the way he made me feel uh the way he took kale about that i never really thought about all of the innocent gods that i was killing because you know what we don't know any of them in that in them uh in them coffins do we like some of them might be sound but uh obviously they're all there because of uh because of ken and uh everything that's been going on uh she's obviously said mate you know the furies I knew that you were something more than just an oracle. The Furies was what my dad was scared about back in the day. And the reason was is that they could infiltrate a god's mind. Now, if you want some more info, go into mine. And she did it, mate. She went and done a head dive. And then whatever info that she acquired anyway, mate, she come back and she did, mate. She saved hope. That blade was just about to pierce her heart. She stopped it right in front of her. Then they've obviously gone after Ken. Uh, Lizzie siphoned him. She's like, sonic boom, he exploded. He's not really dead. Half his face is all scarred and all burnt. Squad's come. They've all tried to attack him. He's obviously pinged them across. Then Hope's managed to come in. She's hit him. He's flew across the field and boom, mate, he's died on that sword. So it's really, really good. I like it. We give actually Aurora a send off as well. Do you know, fair play. We could have ended it with Aurora just being dead kind of on the floor uh, in the last scene that we had with... Um with hope but we've seen quite a lot of these send-offs aren't we the way that the well viking burial pretty much you see it all the time in the viking shows but obviously in here as well with the wolves and the way they've done it with like um you know did they do it with Haley as well they laid her down she was stood on the balcony it was a big massive deal it was really emotional everybody come down and they pushed her away before they set her alight and uh all the good characters because we have to admit you know even if you dislike aurora she's a good character she's been across two shows and she's had a massive impact and she did just a little send-off she chose the right decision at the end you know she was tossed between 
um, you know, in between two minds on what to do. And it was, I think, the st the turning point was when Hope said, "You know what? He sent you into battle, not even knowing if this this blade would work. There's a chance that you could die, and he, he was just his guinea pig. You know, now you know that it works. He's come and he wants to finish me off. But if it didn't work, he wouldn't even bat an eyelid. He wouldn't even care that he was gone. And you know what? That was a turning point. She ended up uh, obviously switching sides and saving everybody." I thought it was a great episode. Really excited for the finale. Do you know what? It's going to be a sad day. It's going to be a good day as well because we know it's going to be a happy, smiley one with lots of emotions and memories. And, uh, you know, I just can't wait to see it. And hopefully it gets the respect that it deserves. So thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy it. If you did, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.